Hi everybody. In this video we'll be reviewing the central dogma of molecular biology. This is the central teaching. In it we're going to discuss three different processes. First, replication. This is when DNA is copied, so DNA produces more DNA. This has to happen in cells before the process of cell division can occur. Second, we'll talk about the process of transcription. This is when DNA, a template strand, is used to produce an RNA molecule. So when DNA is used to produce RNA, this is the process of transcription. Finally, we'll look at the process of translation. This is when the RNA molecule will be read by a ribosome in order to produce a polypeptide or a protein. We're going to use a website from PBS called DNA Workshop. Many of my students have let me know that uh, this may not work in some uh, more modern browsers, so I've recorded a video to uh, allow students who aren't able to use the Shockwave version to see the video and understand how these processes of replication, transcription, and translation occur. Now let's take a look at the process of protein synthesis. This is when we'll look at the process of transcription, and later we'll look at the process of translation. Once again, we're still located inside the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell. The DNA molecule is going to be unzipped, and we can see here in a real cell the molecule unwinds from spools made of protein, then untwists. At this point, the DNA resembles a ladder. Enzymes, special kinds of proteins, move up the ladder, breaking the rungs. All right, now, notice here that our nucleotides available for this process of transcription are slightly different. We have A's, G's, and C's, but now we have a uracil instead rather than a thymine. Also, the backbone is pink rather than white like it looks in DNA. This is to let us know that we have a different sugar in the backbone of RNA molecules. So instead of a deoxyribose sugar, we now have a ribose sugar instead. So I need to find the base uh, the nitrogenous bases, the nucleotides, that will match up with this strand of DNA. This is what we call the template strand because it's used to produce the new molecule, the RNA. So A goes with T. I have an A here, so not a T. I need a U. And I'll complete the rest of my sequence here. Okay, so we can see that I've transcribed my RNA molecule. Um, in a real cell, the RNA molecule could be anywhere from 100 to 10,000 bases long. Uh, now, this process again occurred inside the nucleus of a cell. This molecule uh, is a messenger RNA. However, transcription will also produce transfer RNA molecules and ribosomal RNA molecules. Let's go ahead, click on OK, and continue our process. We can see the you are here indicator has now left the nucleus and moved us out into the cytoplasm of the cell to a ribosome. And notice that there are lots of lots of ribosomes inside of the cytoplasm of a cell. So here's a ribosome. In actuality, a ribosome would be a little bit wider than this. It's not only a single codon wide, um, but again, in this version, that's how it looks. So we've now moved our RNA molecule that we created earlier to the ribosome. We now want to read the sequence of nitrogenous bases in this messenger RNA. The first codon, AUG, is referred to as the start codon. We need to find a transfer RNA, which will have an anticodon, which is complementary. So I need to find the letter U, and then A, and then C. So here I've found that, and I'll move that to the ribosome. Please note that this transfer RNA was attached to an amino acid called methionine. I'll let us read here a little bit. Ribosomes are the cell's structures for constructing proteins. Other key things we need to understand is that the transfer RNA that's right here has an anticodon, which is complementary to the codon of the messenger RNA molecule. Now the ribosome will move over and read the next codon. GGC would be complementary to CCG. So I find that transfer RNA here. I'll move that over to the ribosome. Please notice that the transfer RNA that brought methionine to the ribosome has now left. It's not destroyed. It can actually move back into the cytoplasm and pick up other methionine molecules if they're available. Now the methionine, one type of amino acid, and the glycine, a different type of amino acid, have been joined together by what we call a peptide bond. 
The ribosome has now moved down to read the next codon, UCC, would be complementary to AGG. We can see now that we've built a chain of three amino acids. Uh, proteins are actually a little bit bigger than this, so the protein chain, the amino acid chain, may grow until it's 20, uh, 100, or even more amino acids long. So we can see that I've built a polypeptide chain, methionine, glycine, serine, and this was based on the starting DNA molecule that we looked at as we reviewed the process of DNA replication. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful in your studies of molecular biology.